Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good, man? Hey, this might be one of the most important videos I ever make. And I know I said that about a lot of videos, bro, but this one is really a gem, bro. So stay tuned, listen up, get your notepad, get your pens, all that bullshit, and just, and just soak up the game. Soak up the game. So in today's video, man, we're going to be talking about how to achieve success and how to become a 1% man. And honestly, what it comes down to, bro, two words, work ethic, work ethic. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I don't think y'all realize in this day and age, 2024, it is not hard to separate yourself from the majority of men. The majority of men are so lost. They are just so lazy and, and they don't know how to lead shit. They don't have confidence. They just, they're fucked. They're fucked, bro. But listen, but the thing is, bro, in this world, it's the survival of the fittest. You know what I'm saying? The strongest survive. So you can either adapt or you can get left behind. You know what I'm saying? It's very simple. So what this means to you is that if you want something bad enough, you will do what's required. You know what I'm saying? You have to go above and beyond. You know what I'm saying? If you want your options with women, if you want to live how you want to live comfortably, if you don't want to work a nine to five and answer to, a, to, to, to somebody all the time, if you want to kind of move how you move, however you want to move, travel whenever you want to travel, live in the type of house you want to live in, you have to put the work in. You have to work extremely hard. Work hard, play hard. You know what I'm saying? Like everything, you can't want the best of the best, but then only want to do the bare minimum. That doesn't make sense. That makes no sense. If you want the, the, the extravagant shit in this world, you have to do extravagant work. You know what I'm saying? You got to put the work in. So, like I was saying, bro, a lot of dudes, man, just sit at home smoking weed all day, playing video games, drinking, going out to the club, doing bullshit. And listen, I'm not here to judge. If, 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 I think, I think everything, you should do shit in moderation. So, I'm not saying you can't play the game, you can't go to the you can't go out, you can't hang out with your friends, but the majority of your time should be spent grinding. And then every once in a while you can kind of do your own thing. If smoking weed is your thing, hey listen, I don't I'm not advocating for it, but if you are making a bunch of money and you on your purpose and then you have your little vice on the side or you do whatever you do, hey man, I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge what's right and wrong. All I'm here to do is tell y'all what's required to get to a certain point in life. If you want to get to a certain point in life, you have to, the majority of your time has to be spent grinding. 80 to, honestly, depending on how successful you want to be, about 80 to 90% of your time needs to be spent grinding. And the rest on whatever type of shit you want to do. If you want to, you know, play the game or you want to, whatever the fuck, fuck around with chicks, that's cool. That's, that's on your own time. But the majority of your time needs to be spent grinding. So, what I would suggest is if you work a regular nine to five job, which is cool, there's nothing wrong with that. If you work a regular nine to five job, when you get home or when you have free time at your job, you need to be thinking about how, how can I make money outside of this job? You gotta be thinking, you gotta be thinking on the on the next level. You get what I'm saying? You have to be working at all times, my nigga. All fucking times. That's that's what's required. Because listen, if it was easy, everybody would be high value. Everybody would be a 1% man. Everybody would have bitches all on their dick. They can get any bitch they want. Like Everybody would have that shit. But it's a reason that shit's rare. It's a reason only a select few uh, a select few number of men have all the chicks. It's a reason why only a few number of men can really move how they want to move. They can travel whenever they want. They can fuck whoever they want. They can, they can do whatever they want to do. They can drive whatever they want because they put the work in. You get what I'm saying? You got to put the work in if you want to move like that. But again, it's not for everybody. Everybody don't have that same drive. Everybody don't have that same level of, of ferociousness. Like, bro, you got to be willing to like do, not do anything, like kill somebody. But in terms of like the work ethic, you got to be willing to go above and beyond and beat the next man because it's all a competition at the end of the day. And there's always going to be a nigga who outperform you, who's willing to do it. So if you don't want to do it, it will be a nigga who, who's willing to do it, bro. It's going to be somebody who's willing to do it. So if you don't want to do it, if you don't want to put the work in, that's fine. Somebody else will. Somebody else will. That's all it comes down to, bro. And um, yeah, man, that's that's really what it comes down to. And, it, and it's like, it's almost like some dudes are just born with it. 
You know what I'm saying? Some dudes are just born with that, with that uh, tenacity, with that, with that fire inside them that they just want more in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, there's two types of dudes in this world, man. Some dudes, they'll look at somebody who's successful, right? They'll look at a dude maybe driving, driving a Ferrari or a Lamborghini, or they'll see a dude who's lit on Instagram. They'll see a dude with a bunch of money and a bunch of chicks, and they'll start hating. Or they'll start saying, damn, that's crazy. And then they'll go back to their regular fucking life, smoking weed, jacking off, not working, playing the video games. It's like... Some dudes just don't get motivated by that shit. And it's like, I will never understand that. Some dudes will literally look at that and either start hating or they'll just be like, damn, that's crazy. He got a Lamborghini. Wow. Well, going back to jerking off and playing video games. And then other dudes see that shit and it's like, bro, why am I working this regular nine to five job? I'm not making shit. I'm driving a fucking Toyota Corolla. This nigga has a Ferrari. What is he doing that I'm not doing? This nigga has all, he, this nigga has any woman he wants. He's driving whatever car he wants. He's traveling. Every time I look at his story, he's traveling. What am I doing wrong? Why, why is he able to do that, but I can't do what I want to do? It's because he put the work in. And that second dude, he doesn't hate on that man. He doesn't, he doesn't make excuses. He, he's not like, damn, that's crazy. I go, all right, well, damn, that's crazy. How did he get that Lamborghini? Wow. No, the second dude is like, you know what? That just motivated me. That just motivated me to go even harder. That just motivated me to go even harder. Now I'm finna grind twice as harder, bro. So you gotta decide what type of dude you are. Are you the guy, are you guy number one who sees that shit and just starts hating or just goes back to their regular normal life and not putting in the work? Or are you the second dude who gets motivated by shit like that? When you see niggas who are rich, when you see dudes who are richer than you, getting more girls than you, living the lifestyle you wanna live, or do you get, do you get motivated by that or do you start hating? What type of dude are you, bro? So I suggest you change your mindset to get motivated by that shit. Because if you want to become a top tier dude, top 1% man, you got to change, bro. You got to change your mindset. That's really what it comes down to, bro. That's all it comes down to, bro. Straight up. And it's like, I remember having this mind. Hold on, let me go downstairs real quick. But I remember when I was young, man, I always had this mindset since I was a jig. Since I was a jit, man. Since I was a jit, I always had this mindset. And it's like, again, everybody doesn't have it, but some dudes do. And the thing is, see, bro, I can remember when I was in like middle school, high school, I always wanted more. It was, but there were always dudes who were taller than me, who were more who were more popular than me, got more girls than me. But I was like, that shit. It made me feel a certain type of way. It made me, I, I couldn't describe it at the time, bro, but it made me feel a certain type of way. And I was like, yeah, bro, I just want to keep on improving. I want to keep on improving till I can move how I can move, however I want to move. And it's like, some dudes just get discouraged by that shit. They're like, damn, he's taller than me. He makes more money than me. He got more girls. Oh, well, I'll just be a loser. No, you got to rise up to the occasion and put the work in, man. Get motivated by that type of shit. And it's crazy because so many dudes who were cool in middle school, not middle school, but so many dudes who were cool in like high school and college and you know what I'm saying, had it all, they're nothing now. They are nothing now, bro. But that's all I got for y'all today, man. Like, comment, subscribe. And um, yeah, man. Hope this shit motivated y'all boys. I really do, man. I really do. But all right, y'all.